Hi, and welcome to this short video about our upcoming Mailings 2.0 release, due out in mid-October 2012. This release adds a bunch of new functionality that will make it much easier to build and manage bulk mailings within Little Green Light, including things like adding a new mailing on the fly, being able to use the full power of LGL Search within any mailing, the ability to design beautiful and reusable letter templates in Microsoft Word, the ability to preview mail merge files while creating or updating a mailing, and also the ability to add new custom label and envelope templates. We'll start things off on the Mailings tab, where you have access to all of your mailings, draft and sent, your acknowledgments, draft and sent as well, and your templates, which include letter templates, label templates, and envelope templates. When it comes to generating letters out of LGL, you have the most power and flexibility if you use Microsoft Word to write the actual documents and then upload those into either a mailing or into a letter template. If we look at this general acknowledgement template, you can see that we've got this Microsoft Word file already connected to it. That Word file looks like this. It's got a very nice header, board of directors on the left, and some LGL merge fields for the date, the address block, letter content, and at the bottom, some PS content. The letter content and the PS content are two new additions in this release, and they're very handy because they let you take advantage of the formatting and layout of the Microsoft Word document, but actually do a lot of your letter writing within LGL. So for example, we could use this file and have five or six different letters or mailings um, based off of this template. And when it comes to actually changing it or customizing it, we all we have to do is update the text in this letter content field and optionally in this PS content field. As mentioned previously, you can also define custom label and envelope templates, but LGL does come with standard options there, so you may not need to do that. Once we have our letter, label, and envelope templates defined, we can go ahead and get started with looking at how to generate some mailings. To do that, we can either go to the Mailings page and click Add a Mailing to start the process, or we can head over to the Constituents tab, run our query from here, and then click on the Send Mail button to do the same thing. To demonstrate this, we're going to go through the process of sending out year-end tax receipts for 2012. First, we're going to search for everybody who gave a donation in 2012. Then we can click on the Send Mail button to create the mailing. We'll give the mailing a name, like 2012 year on tax receipts, and then we can choose the envelopes option because we want to print letters and envelopes. We'll leave pretty much everything else the same and click save to go on to the next step in the process. Here's where we can define the details of our letter and we have three options. One option is to use an existing letter template, so if we had a, a template for year on tax receipts we could use that. We don't in this particular case, so we're, we're going to go ahead and select that option we can reuse the general letter file that we looked at earlier because it has everything that we need. Once we've selected that file, we just need to fill out the details of the year-end tax receipt itself. So we're going to do something like Dear Salutation. You'll know how we can select from here on the right-hand side any of the fields that LGL supports as a mail merge field. In this case, we want the Gifts 2012 list. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Now, a nice new feature of the mailing process is that we can actually download a preview while we're building the mailing. And this is really useful in this case because it lets us see exactly how this is going to come out. And it looks pretty much as we expect. We have the address block, the name, our intro letter from the letter content and this nice gift list table which lists, will list all the donations for each donor in 2012. So we can go ahead and close that out and return to our form. Next we're going to go over to the labels and envelopes section and just confirm the type of envelope we want to send. We're going to use the two, number 10 with no return address. We can confirm and review the recipients that are going to get this mailing so it's the same query that we defined on the constituents page and nothing needs to change. Lastly we can go ahead and just review the overall details make sure that nothing is out of line and then click Save. Once we save this mailing we'll go to the details page and look at a summary of the mailing itself. Here we can see how many 
constituents will actually receive the mailing and you'll notice that only 11 out of the 28 are going to get a mailing and the explanation for that is here in the exclusion section where it details how many records are excluded from the mailing and why they would have been excluded so we have two that are flagged as do not mail and 16 that are flagged as no valid address at least uh, probably one of those is in both categories and that's why our total is 17 instead of 18 because these are not mutually exclusive you could have records that are both do not mail and don't have a valid address if we're happy with the way this looks we can go ahead and download both files by clicking download all we would open that up and then we would do the same thing for the envelopes open that up and once we have those open on our computer we can print them put them together as a mailing and get them out the door we also probably want to mark the mailing sent and we can do that by clicking on this button which will change the status to sent and then over in our mailings page we'll see that as our most recent or one of our most recent mailings that we sent that should give you a good idea of how the mailings process will work in LGL after this release in mid-October. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video, and please don't hesitate to let us know if you have any questions.